Greetings, YouTube. Can you believe we are 10 epic riffs in already in the month of May? Uh, the month just seems to be flying by. I actually do love this every other day. Gather two days worth of intel and jump in. Of course, if you're saving or have saved for the chronometer, your strategy looks entirely different. And I have heard from quite a few of you who have told me, Prof, I've got the chronometer, but I'm saving to awaken my Nick Fury or Aegon or Omega Red or Captain Marvel movie, and I can't have the class that I'm targeting pop up. I just, for the life of me, it won't be there, and I can't help you. I know that uh, some people think I have way more power than I actually do, but uh, I can't contact a band and be like, hey, you know, there's this great summoner who's been waiting for a skill five-star awakening gem, and they've got cosmic, like four riffs in a row, so can you fix that? <laughs> Hard pass, ban. Just for fun. Why not? Um, okay, so uh, I don't know if like Zimmers, for example, is a chronometer or not, but I don't think it matters to me. This is a video that's supposed to encourage people to submit things based off of being excited about the game. This is the opposite of critiquing a terrible offer. This hopefully gives people a reason to be excited to play Marvel Contest of Champions, and in a way uh, that doesn't include them having to spend a bunch of money on something because free-to-play players can enjoy this just as much, which is really exciting. And that's why I enjoy doing this series. Somebody said, Prof, you know, it's 10 of these videos. Uh, who cares? Nobody wants to watch this. And I'm thinking, well, I think the people who get excited about submitting these care, and even if that's the only people who watch, it's not about views on this channel. It's about community interaction. That's what my goal was on day one. That's my goal now three years into it. All right, so Zimmer, congratulations on that five-star cosmic. Not sure if it's going to Corvus or Captain Marvel movie or whoever. Um, I also just have to point out that uh, somebody thought these were rigged. <laughs> and so I want to I say that these are my Sunday Arena totals. And I'm still getting about a free uh, Grandmaster Crystal per. I threw that in just because I knew I was going to forget about it if I didn't. But that should be it. Memorial Place, 69. <laughs> Uh, 10,000 five-star shards and AMG 10 with that tier two alpha. I got that yesterday. We got a mystic awakening gym, uh, for SD boys, legendary dad with a 10,000 five-star shards. It's Kim with a five-star mutant awakening gym. Congratulations. And how about it's Ken also got sunspot separately at the same time. He's very excited to combine those. Top Dog 23 with a Tier 2 Alpha. Lord M'Baku with a Science Gym. And then Omni XX got the 5 star featured crystal. Open Silver Surfer. Heck yeah. Gearzo. 10,000 5 star shards. And that got him a dupe of Heimdall. You know, free 6 star shards, if nothing else. Sausage 21, 1,000 6 star shards. Speaking of that. I think for my account, that still is the top. Worthy Joel sent in a super pixelated featured five-star hero crystal, but somehow this was not pixelated, and he ended up getting Silver Surfer as well. A dupe of Silver Surfer, I should say, from that crystal. Alex, five-star tech awakening gem. Gamer T, got the cosmic. SPK Tobala with the tech. And then also got back-to-back five-star awakening gems. And we know one of those can't be with the chronometer because you limit one on that. And that's the science. How about the skill gem for Shipwreck Q? Darko778 coming in clutch with the mutant gem. Victor Fernandez landed a rift with a silver surfer. Sec4 shootout underscore 95 got himself the tech awakening gem. Gray... Paladin with a skill awakening gem. Lord Ken, 1,000 six star shards. Danger, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 7, 3. Five star featured crystal. Abomination in that thing. And then how about Amar H, 10,000 five star shards. And a five star dupe of Corvus. Have not seen that at all really yet. And yet he got that. Galactus got the skill gem. And he's going to use that on his Aegon. And that is literally the proof now. Level 99, Sig 99 for that. Blue Jay, my boy. Now, this is going to be incredibly random. A lot of people are going to be like, what? I've known this guy for a long time. His favorite champion in the game since I've known him is who I affectionately refer to as Vegan Thor. Thor Ragnarok. 
So you're going to see this man, the ultimate example of who cares what Prof or anybody else says or thinks. If you love a champion, you want a champion, you take that champion up and you don't look back. He gets his skill awakening gym. He's got Blade and Nick Fury and, for that matter, Night Monkey in his unawakened skill five-star roster. Who's he taking up? And not just for prestige. It's Vegan Thor. Congratulations, man. I know that might be the only time in history I've ever seen that happen when you've got those champions on your roster. But if that's going to make you love this game more and you've been waiting for that for years, then who cares, right? DBZ Squad, five-star mutant gem, legend of the night. Sounds like an internet phrase. Five-star mystic gem. And that is used to awaken Dr. Doom. Now that is a pretty standard, exciting moment for him. Level 49, Sir Gore got a five-star uh, feature crystal and got Abomination. You know, one of the two trophy champs that is the science base in that crystal with Electro. Uh, God Slayer 2 thought ahead to how his name wasn't appearing on this Twitter submission. So he put it manually and he even put it in the same color as the gym. Pretty clever. And now he's going to awaken Thing, Human Torture Quake, my guess is probably Thing, given how he's already ranked up that high. Mr. Awesome, five-star featured crystal. And that got a Squirrel Girl. Uh, AMG10 with the Tech. And Alan Fury with the five-star featured crystal. And that got him Old Balls. 10,000 five-star shards for Corey1356. That got him Sunspot. Hey, the second Sunspot of the uh, Rift number 10 opening. Compilation Bustero with a five-star science. Raz, five-star featured crystal. How about Mojo? That thing, I'm telling you, if it pops out of your sink in the shower, you're just having a heart attack. You're dead. No, thank you. 10,000 five-star shards for Super... Is it Super Saiyan, maybe? And also a five-star featured crystal. Congrats, buddy. Pixel Ninja 43, five-star featured crystal. Got himself Mojo. And also another five-star featured crystal. Got him a dupe of Groot. Well, so definitely Pixel Ninja 43 has a uh, spectrum of luck from those. Five-star mutant gem for Shugman. And then we have this skill gem opened by KNG underscore B something. And that is for his Aegon. And also T-Boss 78 got a five-star mutant gem. And Unitas 187, I believe this is the last image, ends us with a tier 2 alpha, the same thing that I opened myself on Rift number 10. Well, there you have it. Woo! Over 60 submissions in well under 10 minutes. I always try to uh, be efficient with these videos, but at the same time, not rush through shouting out summoners who have been waiting to be shouted out and who are excited to be featured. This is kind of what YouTube should be about, right? Giving people a chance to take their pulls, bring them to light, and have them feel good about playing the game. Because if you don't feel good, if you're not having fun playing the game, then it's kind of just a really dark, abusive relationship, to be honest. Have a good day, YouTube. Thanks for watching. And as always, thank you for supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions, or in this case, Marvel Casino of Champions YouTube channel.